Hi everybody, Survivalist of the Dead here, um, Pennsylvania on ZPI. <clears throat> I've, for the show, for the next episode of the show, I need to create a solar charger for the camera battery. Uh, and I thought it'd be good to make one that actually works. So I was just at the local hardware store and I found this. This kit was uh, regularly $25. It comes with four solar yard lights on it. Uh, each one of them has a um, AA rechargeable battery in it and the solar panel charges the AA. So pretty easily I can create a uh, So pretty easily, I can create a solar battery charger out of it. Now, they are really slow. They are really low-powered cells. So I'm going to take all four of these and combine them into one charger to charge one battery. So it'll charge much faster. So stay tuned. Okay. So I've opened up the box. Um, the heads of the unit are right there. There was four of them. When you take them out, they look like this. So this is just an everyday solar-powered AA battery charger, complete with a rechargeable AA battery. I don't know if you can read that. It is a NICAD AA 1.2 volt, 400 milliamp hours, which is not a terribly powerful battery, but it is a standard AA battery charger. Um, so to get solar chargers, four AA rechargeable batteries, and all the hardware involved with that, uh, 25 bucks isn't a bad deal. Handy thing to have. Uh, now I took one apart. My handy small screwdriver. And this is what you get. <clears throat> you have the inside of the solar panel, a circuit board that controls the LED, uh, probably has a diode on it to stop um, the battery from discharging uh, when the sun goes behind a cloud or whatever, uh, and a couple capacitors or something like that. On this side, you have the LED there, and the battery door with the tab to remove before using. So these two inside wires are a daylight switch. They're what tell the LED to come on when, the, when there's no light out. So I'm not going to use those at all, so I'll cut those off. The two outside wires are the positive and negative wires. So what I'm really going to do is take the positive wire from the solar panel and bypass the circuit board and attach it to the positive wire of the battery charger and then the negative wire of the solar panel and attach it to the negative wire of the battery charger. If I was just going to keep this as a AA battery charger that's what I would do. Since I'm making a specialized camera battery charger for the show, uh, I'm going to do it a little bit differently, but all in all, it's a very cool deal. Um, I found this pack at an Ace Hardware for 50% off. It was regularly 20, $23. I paid 14 so I'm pretty excited about four solar battery chargers for $14. Okay, so I've taken apart my four solar cells. And I have the yellow positive and the black negative wire exposed from each one. In the back in the box I have the AA battery bay. Uh, with I, The AA's are still in it. I'll pull them out and use them later. And then over here, these are the circuit boards. There's the little LED. Um, those might come in handy for something uh, down the road. So... For most of them, I pulled the wire straight off the solder, though, because I don't have a lot of plan for using them. I did leave the wires for one of them, so 
if I wanted to make a little flashlight or something out of it, I could definitely do that. So now these are all separate. Now what I need to do is figure out if I want to connect these in parallel or in series. If I connect them in parallel, um, I'll get a much higher voltage out of the end, but much lower amps, which means I would be able to charge a bigger battery, uh, but it would take longer to do. Or if I connect them in series, I would get a much lower voltage, but a much higher amps, which would mean I could charge a smaller battery much, much faster. So I'm going to try a couple different configurations with them and see what I get from the multimeter there and um, see if I have enough. i got to go look at the specs of the camera battery that I'm going to charge and make sure I have enough uh, voltage to charge that battery. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, here we have it. I've taken the heads all apart. I laid down a bed of duct tape and I trimmed little strips of the edge and folded them up. They're all wired in series, which means all the blacks connect to this black wire and all the positives connect to this black wire. I got four cells held together. You can see the sticky part of the duct tape. I have to lay another piece in across here to seal that all up, cover up all the wires. And then I connected all of that to a regular plug. I don't have a lot of sunlight. Uh, it's getting pretty late in the afternoon, and this definitely is a sunlight-intensive process, but i got my multimeter connected in, and if I pick these up and angle them to the light, you can see I'm generating power. I'm not much because... Uh, there isn't a lot of sunlight, but you can see when I move it in the shade, it drops down. When I move it over into the sun, I get a little bit. Um, but again, I don't have a lot of strong sun. I'm having to hold it at a pretty steep angle to get much of anything. Uh, but in the high noon sun, uh, I expect I may be making about six volts. So. Anyway, there you have it, a solar uh, walkway light battery charger.